What else, your boy T Bird here in the reaction? I'm about to do it's been a minute, but I'm about to do another of the famous comedian versus hecklers. This is part four or five. I'm not sure why they will have a number three, but oh well. So this is number four. Like we got some, we got a couple of legends right here. Like where we, like we got Steve Martin and Richard Pryor in this. Though so, I'm the Wild Marial singer already. I'm back in there, but yeah, we got. Steve Martin and Richard Pryor in the cover of this in the thumbnail, so this is gonna be interesting. I gotta hear how the legendary Richard Pryor handled hecklers, though. That'd be pretty awesome. So, without further ado, this is comedians versus famous comedians versus hecklers, part four or five. Let's go. Because sometimes it's just an accent. If you've got a scary accent, it's called accent. Second. Um, well, I'll think. You don't fuck with a Scot. If a blind midget came up to me and said, Are you looking for trouble, pal? No, mm. absolutely no way. I will not take you on, blind Scottish midget. <laughs> there you go, I've got a Scottish person swearing at me there. Thank there you very you much. <laughs> what was that? You're a bastard! You're a bastard. Oh, that is, well, that's, that's, um, I don't know if that's the latest word you've learned, but I certainly know it's the first <laughs> word that babies learn in Scotland. That's, that's <laughs> <what it> is. <laughs> this is right. Mountain TV. There we go. Bullshit. Bullshit. My dick. Bullshit. My dick. People in the audience get hostile. You drunk, motherfucker. You drunk, motherfucker. What's that? I wasn't. TJ Miller. Thank you very much. Is this the part where you think that this is just a conversation between the two of us? It's a strange thing that you're like, now I'll start this talking no to you. Here, TJ. here are the things that I know you from. I enjoyed your performance in Get Him to the Grave. I wasn't a fan of How to Train Your Dragon. Ooh. You were? Okay. I was just hypothetically being you. <laughs> I'm not purporting to really know what you feel about the different mm. film projects I've been in. You've never seen it, but you're a fan of it? <laughs> you see me at Comedy Central? You guys trust me, we need to get all this out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? There's no other job like this, you know? <laughs> Where you go on stage, or not on stage even, but like, what if I worked at a law office and I just came in and you're like, hey, I saw you in the break room. <laughs> I liked how you got that coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw you in your cubicle too. That's pretty good. And I don't really like cubicles. I feel like they're a poor man's office. <laughs> and one woman screamed for that. <laughs> really? <laughs> and another woman died for that. Oh, shit. <laughs> About three weeks ago, I met a girl. She was real nice, and she invited me to her apartment. Yeah, so I went over there, life? and she had the best pussy I have ever. <laughs> oh, now come on! I'm talking about her cat. Now that makes me sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> now you can't say anything anymore that people don't take it dirty, and I'm sorry that disgusts me. That cat was the best fuck I ever had. <laughs> hey, what a treat. This was my dream to help the homeless. Oh, the mic. Oh, shit. Don Rickles, I thought it was. Don Rickles. Ah, <laughs> oh, boo your ass. I didn't ask you in here. <laughs> He's free for crying out loud. Abraham Lincoln was a Jew. We said, free to gun mother, free to mother. Ooh. I make fun. I make fun of the blacks. I make fun of the Jews. Well, not really. I'll tell you this. I make fun of people. Paul Rodriguez, a great Mexican kid. I swear to God, my wife and I were in Mexico City for two weeks. Never saw the city. She kept saying, I think it's a salad. I said, no, it's a goddamn tomato. It's a tomato. <laughs> you know what it was? It was the waiter. You want a burrito? Mm. How about an enchilada? You want an enchilada? Same old thing. And then the guy 
toss the salad for crying out loud. Ooh, Look at him, Black Brother Lamb, you son of a gun. The one with the blowgun. Anyway, uh, I make fun of. So it's like, check him to the back of sink. And my bag of sink. Okay. The black people. Without you, we'd have no Olympics. Ooh, That's Lord. right. They're great runners. You put a gun on their ass, they can beat a bullet. I'll tell you this, though. <laughs> Laugh and enjoy people. Ooh. That's the main thing. I swear to God. Is that your wife, sir? Jesus Christ. I'll tell you this. That's the. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She's a pretty lady. Jesus. <laughs> what was it, a train? I gotta put my thing on. That dude is down. Come on, Santa. Hey, hey! Come on, come on! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Hey, motherfucker! We got a seize here, motherfucker! Don't bother with that. That was too funny right there. I guess he didn't get a whole second. Because my family is together for the first time in years, and we're doing this show together. And if you don't like it, mm. I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I brought all of you down. I came to see a good show. I'm trying to do some singing, some dancing. Yes. Some, yeah, he some called songs with my family, and you know, it's a variety show. So, if I brought you down, thank you very much for showing me where I'm at. I guess I don't really have that much more to do. Oh. And if you don't want me to continue, then I guess I won't. So, uh, thank you for showing me where I'm at. No mess. Oh, 
<laughs> that was how you did it. Oh, that was awesome, man. <laughs> that was like how you did that. Then that was one of the going on, but I like how you uh, filled it up at the end. That was pretty nice. Yeah, but hey, these uh, community not handle heckle is pretty well though. Some will come at you, some will go along with you, some will appreciate you. But let them do their job though. So if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.